What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to the ARA show. So, first things first, I hope you guys are enjoying this holiday. As you can see, the markets are closed today due to Martin Luther King's Day, so I hope you guys are enjoying today a nice chill day off. And with that being said, let's kind of just jump into the video. So, one of the best ways to progress and kind of just keep yourself motivated is to kind of track your progress. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a dividend tracker that I use to track my portfolio and anything related to dividends. So, with that out of the way, let's get right into it. <music> So there's a good handful of platforms out there that help you track your dividends and manage your portfolio better and to be honest a lot of them are paid so i kind of went through doing a lot of free trials looking for free ones and kind of just exploring the internet for these trackers and that's where i came across this one right here track your dividends and this one does have a paid feature but it also has a free version and that free version has tons of free features and it's been pretty good and i've been using it for quite some time in this video, I'm just going to kind of go through every single one of the free features and how useful it is to me and how I use it for my dividend growth portfolio and just kind of just going through it. I'm not sponsored by them at all. So, you know, I'm going to give you guys my honest and genuine answer. There are some things that this website or platform can work on, but I mean, it is free, so I can't really complain. So with that out of the way, let's kind of go through all the features that it has. First thing off the bat, you can see the user interface is pretty easy to use. These are all the tools right here. And like I said, not every single one is available for the free version, but we're going to go through that later. But it is pretty easy. The only thing that's kind of annoying is the ads, but I mean, they got to make money somehow. Other than that, it is pretty easy. You can see here's your portfolio. You can have more than one. And, you know, we've got their value, the yield, yield on cost, and your income. They have a bunch of other tools over here, or I guess you can call it vocab or pretty much anything that kind of helps you out. So user face, I mean, I would give it a 10 out of 10, really easy to use, nothing crazy. If you want to add a new holding, you just hit new holding. You can also do a bulk upload where you get it from Excel sheet. You can clear portfolio. Pretty, pretty simple, you know, nothing too crazy over here. I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how you can edit your portfolio and how you can update your holdings and all that. But before I do that, I want to show you guys a quick con or something that I don't like about this platform. And that's because... I have two portfolios right here, one I do manually and one I do passively. So I linked it to my bank account and I thought it would be easy. I thought I'd never have to update my holdings and everything would go automatically to my M1 Finance account. And you can see it's sitting at 1800 and it says I'm up $1,000. And that's not the case. As you guys saw in my intro that I was around maybe 2400 So it's kind of off to be honest. And that was kind of annoying. So I had to do everything manually. And you can see I'm going to pull up the manual one right now and you can see I'm at 2200. So it's kind of off and it is annoying that I have to go and do everything manually. It's not too hard to do, to be honest. And I'm just going to kind of go through how to do it right now real quick. I'm just going to go to the holding. I edited everything beside Apple. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So you hit the edit button and you can literally go to your M1 finance account. You can copy the amount of shares and then you just paste it right in. And then you're going to do the same thing for your average share price. And it doesn't matter if you copy the dollar sign or not. And then after that, you hit the enter button or you hit the edit button and then you're good to go. That's pretty much it. You can see that the holding got edited. Everything here changed the portfolio value, the yield, the yield on cost. You can see the shares and price here change and you're good to go. It does get a little bit tedious doing this for every single one of the stocks that you bought and updating every single one of them. But I mean, at the end of the day, you're able to see and track your portfolio. So can't really complain from a free tracker. Nothing to complain about here. There is one thing that is a little bit annoying, and that's the accuracy is not 100%. You can see I'm at $2,259, and over here, $2,263. It's a $4 difference. Can't really complain too much, but it is not 100% accurate. So that's one thing to make a note of. And let's kind of just go over some of the other features that this has. I don't want to bore you guys with every single one of the features because it does have quite a lot, but I'm just going to kind of quickly go through every single one of them. So this is in the diversification one, and you can see this is just going to split my portfolio up into all the stocks that I have. So it says that I have 11 sectors, and you can see them all right over here. These are all my holdings, 42 holdings, the high sector that I have, the lowest sector that I have, and pretty much how much diversification I have throughout all my stocks. So just from doing an eye test, you can see that probably Microsoft and Apple are the highs that I have. VUG is another one. And it kind of just splits them up into percentages, which is pretty cool. It's a cool feature. So let's kind of just hop into the next one. 
So the next free feature is upcoming dividends and it gives you an estimated time of when it's expecting dividends. So you can see in February right here, I'm expecting $3.37 and in March it's $7.41. And you got to remember, this is if I don't add any money at all, this will all stay the same. But like I said, I'm, I average $50 every single week that I put into my portfolio. So these numbers will keep growing over time. With that out of the way, this kind of just go through. So it will let you know if it's unconfirmed or confirmed. And we all know Gap right here doesn't pay a dividend currently. They kind of suspended it or stopped it. Same thing with Disney. So it's listed as unconfirmed. But let's go to one that does have one right here. So Verizon, it has an expected pay date of February 1st and I just pulled up right here this is seeking alpha and I went to the dividend tab and you can see the payout date is February 1st so everything looks to be aligned here and it looks pretty good and this is just a cool feature to kind of just track when your dividends are going to be coming this is probably the coolest feature that track your dividends has and that's future value so you can see that my portfolio is growing at a five-year dividend growth rate of 13.52 percent which is pretty good this is my current yield and this is how much I make in 2021, $54.41. And this is if I don't add any more money to my portfolio, which is pretty cool. So I'd be making $54 without doing anything. This is all passive, which is really cool, right? But the cool part is with that growth rate, by the end of 2045, I will have $1,454.64. And that's if I don't invest a single penny of my own money. If I just reinvest all my dividends, you can see that my portfolio is going to grow substantially from... 2000 basically $2,000 all the way to $10,000 without adding a single penny, just reinvesting all my dividends and letting that stock appreciate over time, which is honestly one of the coolest features on this. You can just, I guess you can see your future value without adding any money. So these numbers will go through the roof if I do end up putting my own money. And you guys know I put $50 every single week. So this is definitely a cool feature to kind of play around with and just experiment. It is definitely cool. So we're just making our way down the list right here. So we're on portfolio alerts. This one's pretty cool because it lets you know when your company or stock declares a dividend and when it pays it out. But to be honest, you could probably get this from another platform like Seeking Alpha or from maybe even your own brokerage. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got stock analysis and stock popularity. These ones are a cool feature. I watched some videos on it, but to be honest, these ones aren't part of the free version, but they're pretty good features. Nonetheless, those ones aren't the the best features in my opinion i think being able to track your portfolio and dividends and the future value are the better ones and those ones are part of the free version so i can't really complain so another feature that they have and they have tons of features you as you guys could tell we got the dividend calculator which is really cool because you guys can kind of see the future value of your portfolio if you keep reinvesting your dividends and just investing your dividends in total so we're going to plug in some numbers for myself and you guys can play along with yourself wait pause you guys can put in your own numbers and just kind of see how your portfolio will do. So you guys saw my portfolio was about 2,500. We're gonna put in $1,000 per month because that's my goal by the end of next year to be able to put $1,000 every single month. So we're just gonna kind of go from there. My yield was about 2.4%. And you guys saw that my dividend growth rate for five years was 13.5%, but we're gonna go conservative and just put 5%. And again, we're going to go conservative and put 5% and we're going to be invested for 25 years. So we're going to calculate the returns and see how I did in that a lot of time. All right, so let's take a look at how our portfolio or our calculator did. So these are all the numbers right here, $1,000 per month, 2.4% yield. So let's take a look. So that first year, we're going to get $60 of dividends, which is pretty nice. And then that second year, we'll get $370. And of course, there's that huge jump just because I went from investing $50 every single week to $12,000 every single year. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. You're going to see a huge jump here. And then you're going to see, this is where you're going to see the biggest amount of growth is, is the dividends right here. And of course, that's a snowball effect. If you guys don't know, it's all about compound interest. My, my guy over here, Albert Einstein, talking about that's the sixth wonder of the world. So that's pretty cool. And you can see we're just going to kind of scroll down all the way to 25 years. We're at $87,000 of dividends per year. That's enough to live off of. That's the ultimate goal. And that's pretty cool. $526,000 of total dividends. That's just insane. Like we're really getting money basically passively doing nothing. And then that portfolio would be about 1.2 mil, which is really cool. I mean, you guys can play along with your own numbers, put in your own numbers. Maybe I went a little bit overboard with the numbers and the projections. Maybe we'll try a more conservative even more conservative next time. But that's pretty much it for this dividend calculator. Let's hop back right into the tracker dividends. 
So that's pretty much it for all the tools and features that Tracker Dividends has. I mean, there are a few that I didn't really go over. Like you can sort it from your profit loss, dividend yield, yield on cost, annual income, which is really cool. I didn't know that VNQ was my highest annual income payer. That's pretty cool. I thought it would maybe be AT&T or Avi. So like I said, there's a lot of different things that you can play along with and just try out. Other than that, I mean, this platform is totally free, the free version at least. I can't really complain. There was a few things that were a little bit annoying, like the portfolio value was maybe $4 off. Other than that, if we take a look at the one that I linked my bank to, that was completely off. So that's just small things. I'm just kind of nitpicking here. For example, like, you know, I hate doing everything manually, but, you know, it takes five to ten minutes, so I can't really complain. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Let me know if you guys use it or comment if you guys are planning to use it. The only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because, let's be honest, dividend growth investing is pretty boring. To make it kind of fun, these websites like Track Your Dividends kind of helps you see your goal and envision it and basically grow your portfolio with a little bit of a more funner approach, I guess you can say. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. This is all for entertainment purposes. I just want to hopefully help you guys in some type of way. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I had to throw this in. I appreciate you new subscribers for joining on this journey. We've got 46 now, so we're growing as a community, and I greatly do appreciate it. If you guys found any value or anything like that, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And on a side note, this video on Dogecoin kind of blew up. I mean, compared to all my other videos, it did well. So if you guys want to see more, I created some playlists where I kind of just separated everything. I want to be more than just a dividend growth investor. So I started a bunch of new playlists. We're doing some cryptos here, some tutorials, some investing into sneakers and a zero to $100,000 challenge. So we're just going to kind of be all over the place. We're going to try to do things beneficial to everyone and grow as a community. So if you guys would and you guys could, please comment what you guys want to see more. I only upload about once a week for now. But if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know and I'll try to make more videos on that. And with that, guys, just remember everybody eats and I'll catch you guys in the next video.